The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is standing before angry people who are yelling and saying mean, hurtful things to him. They scream at him. Some of them tell lies about him, saying that he did bad things. But Jesus stays quiet, even though he knows that he will be hurt. He knows that God is with him. He even asks God to help him forgive the people who are yelling and telling lies about him. Has anyone ever said mean or hurtful things about you? Or has anyone ever told a lie about you? If someone did that to you, how did you feel? Maybe you were sad, scared or hurt. Or maybe you felt very angry. Lord Jesus, I often judge others and fail to be understanding and loving. Help me to see the people in my life through your eyes, not the eyes of Pontius Pilate. The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers put a big, heavy cross on Jesus' shoulders, Jesus doesn't fight with them or say angry words to them. He knows that he has to carry this cross a long way, and he knows that the way will be very hard for him at times. Jesus knows that God is with him, and he asks God to help him carry the cross, even though it's, it's heavy. Have you ever had something happen that was very hard for you? Sometimes children are very sick, or someone in their family is very sick. Sometimes we just can't have things the way we want them. Lord Jesus, you embrace your cross to, to redeem the world. Help me to embrace the crosses in my life, the hardships, struggles, disappointments and pain. Only by recognising my own weakness can I discover your strength. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Did you ever fall when you were playing or when you were helping with something? Falling really hurts, doesn't it? Jesus falls not just once, but three times on his journey to the cross. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I danced in the morning when the world was begun, and I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun, and I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth At Bethlehem I had my birth Dancing wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I'll lead you all wherever you may be And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he Jesus meets his sorrowful mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus walks slowly with the cross on his shoulders. A woman comes up to him. It was Jesus' mother, Mary. How sad for them to see each other now. Mary was so sad because Jesus was she sees how much Jesus is suffering and Jesus sees the son as Mary feels. Even though they both know that God is with them, they can't even say anything to each other because they are, because they are so sad. Have you ever been very sad or do you know someone who's been very sad? 
Being sad can really hurt someone's heart a lot. Sometimes our hearts are so sad we cannot be with someone we love. Lord Jesus, your mother Mary Stannis was surpassed by her love for you. So often you come to me in other on in others and their love gives me new life. Help me to see how how often you love me through the people in my life. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is so touched tired that the soldiers know he cannot carry the heavy cross by himself. They look around and see someone who looks strong enough to help Jesus carry this cross. This person's name is Simon. Jesus just looks at Simon and quietly whispers, thank you to Simon. Then they continue on the long road carrying the cross together. Sometimes helping people can be difficult for so many reasons. Maybe you haven't finished something that you like to do when someone asks you for help. Or maybe you just don't feel like helping that person. Lord Jesus, sometimes I don't care about the needs of others in my life. Sometimes I neglect those whom I love. Help me to see that loving others is the surest way to find you in my life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is hot, tired and sweating. His hair is all tangled and he is covered in dust from the long walk. Suddenly, a woman pushes her way out of the crowd and stands in front of Jesus. She takes a clean cloth and gently wipes Jesus' face. Jesus is so thankful that he leaves a picture of his face on her cloth. Have you ever helped someone? Have you ever done something that helped someone feel better? Sometimes you may have done something that you thought was very small or unimportant, bringing a glass of water or juice to someone, or even giving someone a helping hand with a call. Maybe you just smiled at someone. Lord Jesus, at times I am afraid to reach out to others. I do not. I do nothing when I should act. I say nothing when I should speak out. Give me a deeper and more courageous faith. Help me to trust that you are with me. I danced for the scribe and the Pharisee, but they would not dance and they wouldn't follow me. I danced for the fishermen, for James and John. They came with me and the dance went on. Dance then, wherever you may be, I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all, wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. Jesus falls for the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. How very tired, weak, and sad Jesus is now. 
Even though he keeps trying to walk with the heavy cross, he just can't keep going. The noise from the crowd and from the soldiers make him feel even worse. Then Jesus falls because he just can't take another step. Have you ever had a hard time with something? Maybe you can't do something the way you want, or you feel as if you keep messing up on something. How does your heart feel when this happens? Maybe your heart feels the same way Jesus' heart felt when he fell this second time. When you show Jesus how your heart felt, picture Jesus loving you. Jesus knows how your heart felt. His heart probably felt the same way. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Eighth Station. Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. After Jesus gets up, he continues on the road carrying his heavy cross. He passes some women who are crying because they are so sad to see Jesus suffer. But instead of thinking of only himself and how bad he feels, Jesus tells the woman not to keep crying because of him. He tells them to take care of others and especially to take care of their children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The ninth station, Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus is so tired now that he can hardly take another step. It is hard for him to breathe. He has been walking a long time along the dusty road and he has no energy left. He just can't go on anymore. Then Jesus falls down in the street for the third time. He is so very tired. Jesus asks God to help him. And Jesus gets up again, even though it is hard for him to do. When have we really tried to do our best and have not been able to succeed? It is easy to feel like Jesus did. Sometimes other people just keep yelling about something we do. Or some. Sometimes other people make fun of the way we do something. Lord Jesus, your failing strength make, makes me see how I am. Without you, I can do nothing. Help me to rely on your strength to, to see how much I need you. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Finally, Jesus reaches the hill. That is the end of his road he has to walk. Jesus knows that he will die here. But before he dies, the soldiers will do more to him. They pull off his long robe, and almost all his clothes are taken from him. Jesus stands in front of the crowd with only a small piece of cloth covering part of his body. Jesus asks God to help him remember that he is not alone, that God is with him through all this. Is it hard for you to share or give away something that you like? Do you sometimes like to keep everything for yourself? Do you ever let something of yours be the reason for bad feelings or bad words between you and someone else? Lord Jesus, seeing you so cruelly humiliated makes my, me realise how, how I cling to my accomplishments, my positions, my way. Help me let go of these things in my life that prevent me from going closer to you and others.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The eleventh station of the cross. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. How much Jesus hurts as the soldiers nail him to the cross. He hurts all over. He is tired and thirsty. He knows that he is going to die, but he looks at people who have hurt him. Instead of saying bad things to those people, Jesus asks God for, to forgive them. He looks at his mother and tells her to take care of others. Even when he is dying, Jesus is thinking of other people. Can you think of a time when someone hurt you with unkind words or actions? Was it hard to forgive that person? Jesus knows that forgiving is a hard thing to do. Lord Jesus, I can never doubt your great love for me. When I see you crucified, help me to see your cross as a great sign of love for me. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I danced on a Friday when the sky turned black. It's hard to dance with the devil on your back. They buried my body and they thought I'd gone. But I am the dance and I still go on. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I'll lead you all wherever you may be. And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. The Twelfth Station Jesus dies on the cross. Finally, after the long walk, after falling three times, after having the men beat him, after being nailed to the cross and suffering on the cross, Jesus bows his head and dies. I commit my spirit.
Now this part of his life is over. There is nothing left for Jesus to give or to do. Jesus has given his life for all of us. Did you ever feel that you wanted to make something better? Or that if you only tried harder, something would change that you want to change? Or maybe you felt that you did not try hard enough at something. And something bad happened. Lord Jesus, your broken and lifeless body calls me to deeper faith. You chose death, even death on the cross. Help me to see my crosses as a way of loving you. The 13th station. Jesus' body is removed from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now Jesus' lifeless body is taken down from the cross. No more pain or suffering for Jesus. All the pain is over. Mary, Jesus' mother, holds him tenderly in her arms. How sad she is. And how sad Jesus' friends are. They are crying as they hold his body. Lord Jesus, seeing your body taken from the cross reminds me how fearful I am of letting go of my own life. I am frightened when I think of being unimportant, useless, helpless. Help me place my life in your hands. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen. They cut me down and I leapt up high. I am the life that will never, never die. I'll live in you if you live in me. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Don't stand wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I'll lead you Fourteenth station. Jesus' body is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus' friends wash his body and wrap it in a clean sheet. They put his body into a tomb. When they are finished, they push a very large stone over the entrance so that no one can go inside. Now there is darkness in the tomb where Jesus' body lies. And all of his friends go home because they are very sad and tired. Can you remember a time where you were very sad to say goodbye to someone? Maybe you were leaving the person for only a short time, or maybe it was for a long time. Maybe you said goodbye to someone you loved when that person died. Lord Jesus, when I see the great stone sealing your tomb, I feel alone and abandoned. Even though you sometimes seem distant or absent in my life, help me always be to believe in your closeness and loving presence. This part of Jesus' journey is quite sad, but it prepares us for the joy of him rising from the dead a few days later when we se will celebrate Jesus' rising at Easter time. Easter time is the time for new birth, growth and starting things fresh. You'll see on Easter Sunday that the church is full of life again, with Father John wearing white robes and the church decorated with colourful flowers. We look forward to seeing you again then. in the morning when the world was begun and i danced in the moon and the stars and the sun and i came down from heaven and i danced on the earth at bethlehem i had my birth dancing wherever you may be i am the lord of the dance said he and i'll lead you all wherever you may be and i'll lead you all in the dance said he 
I danced for the scribe and the Pharisee, but they would not dance and they wouldn't follow me. I danced for the fishermen, for James and John, they came with me and the dance went on. Dance then, wherever you may be, I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all, wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. Then wherever you may be, I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I'll lead you all wherever you may be, and I'll lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced on a Friday when the sky turned black. It's hard to dance with the devil on your back. They buried my body and they thought I'd gone But I am the dance and I still go on Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I'll lead you all wherever you may be And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he They cut me down and I leapt up high I am the life that will never, never die I'll live in you if you live in me I am the Lord of the dance, said he Dance then, wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I'll lead you all wherever you may be And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he Thank you.